So we know Andrew Luck will be number one. He's headed to Indy. We will assume that RG3 is headed to Washington. Yeah. But let's look at your list, Todd. Uh, number one, you had Luck, RG3. You have Ryan Tannehill, third, Brock Osweiler, fourth, and then Brandon Whedon at number five. Todd, you said, have said that Tannehill will be the third best quarterback in the draft, and you're projecting him to go number eight to the Dolphins in your latest mock draft. You're agreeing with Jim Ursay a little bit here, I guess, <laughs> assuming that he is uh -oh. a hidden gem in this draft. So, Skip, is Ryan Tannehill overrated or underrated? Ryan Tannehill is way overrated if we're talking top 10 or eighth pick in the draft. I would take Brandon Whedon in the top 10 before I would take Ryan Tannehill. This is a good kid, very good athlete, who will prove over time to be a not very good National Football League quarterback. And, Todd, it has concerned me all along that for a long while at Texas A&M, he could not beat out Gerard Johnson. And again, Johnson was, went undrafted, bounced around the league. Right. And Hill got moved to receiver because of him. If he were that good, in fact, coming out of high school, he wanted to go to Texas Tech and they wouldn't recruit him. Is he that good? Well, where did he, he came out of nowhere. What are we doing? Tom we Brady, way, Tom Brady okay, got, okay, got right. benched essentially or, or okay. wasn't allowed to play as much as he should okay, have. Okay, but because... I watched a lot just via television okay. of Ryan Tannehill. I never liked his feel for the game. Mm -hmm. I never liked his decision making. I especially did not like his second half against Brandon Whedon in College Station when they absolutely collapsed in, in large true. part because of Ryan Tannehill. I oh. did not like his three interception hmm. games both against their rivals Oklahoma and Texas near the end of the year I think his hands are small he tends to lose his grip on the ball frequently and in the end I I think he has serious bust potential good kid bust potential you're actually this I feel like Skip Bayless I'm I'm on an island I'm the minority here and and I get it because at surface level everything you're saying is correct and if I'm just watching games and studying the box scores and the second half collapses, there were four when they had double-digit leads. Yeah. I get that. He did not have his best games against Texas and against Oklahoma. Right. So you don't love that. There's a lot not to like about him as a first-round draft pick. I get it. But you have to look at the big picture, and you have to project sometimes in this, in this job. And the projection for me, when I evaluate him and study him in the important parts, which at first, accuracy, I think he has, when his mechanics are right, his accuracy is outstanding. Mm -hmm. He has an ability to get rid of the ball very quickly and, and feels pressure a lot better than even Robert Griffin III. He feels the pressure coming, senses it, gets the ball out quickly. He has, I mean, the size, the arm, all those other things that you look for, a phenomenal athlete, which is great. His intangibles are at the highest level. They are. He's going to be a first guy in, last yep, guy out type of quarterback, and so he's going to get the most out of, what, out of his physical tools. So if he has great physical tools, he's going to work at it to get there. And when you look at it, I think he has a much better feel for the game than, than, you, than you give him credit for. Because he, he understands where to go with the ball, but he's not a great decision maker yet because he's not experienced. But he's going to gain experience. He's going to work through it. And I, just, I think when it's all said and done, that he winds up being a top 10, top 12 quarterback see, in the see, NFL. And, and see, wow. far, far be it for me to disagree with you. No, I'm, please I'm, do. I'm stuck in the middle, but when you say the things that you just said, right. I, can't, I can't spend a top 10 pick on you. Right. I can't spend a top 10 pick on you because your intangibles are off the charts or because you know, you, you've got good accuracy, but at the same time, there's big game performances where you've, you've come up small and the upside could be years down the road. Now, if you want to make an argument on behalf of 10, Hill, I would say, okay, it depends on what you need. If I'm a team where I've got Drew Brees and Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and others, that, and we're talking about you coming in three, four years down the road. Not three, four. I, he I, only I, needs one. I'm saying, okay, fine. He only but, needs but, one. but I guess what I'm saying to you is that based on what you're saying, if yep. we need time, I'm going with that. If I'm looking for somebody to come in and produce within the next year or so, I'm going with Whedon. Let He's me ask older. You this. Let me ask you this sure. question. And this, this goes to the heart sure. of what you're saying. If I tell you that in three years from now, you're going to have a good starting quarterback in five years from now, that he's going to be a top 10 quarterback in the league. If I let's say my information and my projections correct, mm -hmm. would you take him in the top 10? I, my answer to that would be: Are we saying the same thing about Whedon? No. 
We're not saying the same. No, thing. I, I, oh, right, I then really, you got me. Okay. Then, then you got me. If you're not saying the same, because I know Whedon's 28 years of age, he's older, but I'm just talking about in terms of you're being older, you're a bit more mature. You know, you've oh, been I'm not worried about the age. With okay, me. sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. Brandon Whedon sees it and feels it much. Oh, better I completely than disagree. I completely oh. disagree. I, I told you uh, we talked in we the did. other segment about the about pressure drops and what you did under pressure. Brandon Whedon was the worst of the seven. Talking okay. about Nick Foles. Kirk Cousins, obviously Andrew Luck, and Robert Griffin III. Of the seven top quarterbacks that are going to be drafted, he had the worst per, uh, completion percentage, touchdown, interception ratio under pressure. under pressure. So the throws you have to make in the NFL, it's like driving down the highway. Anyone can drive 100 miles an hour when you've got four lanes wide open and there's nobody there and, and the cops aren't chasing That's right. Now. That's true. <laughs> but when, they're, but it's, when it's congested and, and you've got a, a cement median to your left and you're in the, in the fast lane, you've got trucks moving it, that's when it's difficult. And that's what the NFL is compared okay. to that Oklahoma but State I offense. saw Brandon Whedon hold his own against luck. I saw him really outplay RG3. I, I saw him outplay some of the best quarterbacks. I will say no, this. I will true. say this. On behalf, hold I, on. I will say this on behalf of McShay. We didn't have Justin Blackman to throw to. Did Tannehill have somebody like that to throw to at Texas A&M? No, well, he didn't. I mean, Fuller no. and Swoper. Yeah, Fuller, I, they're, they're good. They're good. But they're, but, but, they're good but, they're not, but they're not Blackman. And that's what I'm saying. So if you want to, it, it, I, I guess I could use that argument. But again, some of the top 10 pick Tannehill, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm on record. If anybody dares to take Brandon Whedon in the first round, he, th that team will benefit greatly. He will be a very good NFL he, he quarterback. He could be. First round. Okay. He could be good. We're talking top I'm, ten, though. Okay, but I, I, if I'm the Cleveland Browns, I'd take him with the fourth pick. That's how much I like really? him. Really? Brandon Whedon. Yes, I would. Did, okay, can we get a close-up? Yeah. Just like yeah. the last segment. Top four Brandon pick? Brandon so we can, okay, Brandon. Brandon Whedon with the fourth overall pick. And book it, he will be successful. All right. That'll so just throw the, Colt McCoy. That'll in, be in the inbox. Just throw it to the side. See you later. Just get rid of Colt McCoy. Yeah, he can go coach at Texas. Young